All right, we got the part flipped over, and we're going to start this first operation. Uh, I switched it up to a 485 end mill from CGS Tool, and kind of ramped up all the specs. This was taking too long doing the other side. Um, here we go. Thousands depth of cut, 40% step over, 2,500 RPM, and a 20 inches per minute feed rate.
everybody uh, welcome back here is the cast iron square completed machining it turned out really well um, see that inside chamfer on these edges here I'm going to leave these outside chamfers hand filed um, it's going to be hand scraped on these surfaces here as well as the two main working surfaces um, I think it's I think we get a better better edge you know right up to the edge when you're hand scraping over having you know a chamfer going along that I don't know I might change my mind later um, the machining turned out really well and I actually uh, I brought it to work with me to try the um, the clean cycle on the oven to do a kind of quick down and dirty heat treat stress relieve on it uh, it moved significantly after all that machining was done there's quite a bit of, quite a bit of uh, material removed out of there and when I went to grind in this front face and the bottom face uh, I clamped it to a cube similar to in this fashion and, and clamped you know right up against that and it actually lifted these previously ground faces off the plate so and it'll get heat treated hopefully this works uh, I've had success with it with the same exact material before uh, scraping in a dovetail straight edge and it it would move a little bit and I stuck it in an electric oven clean cycle it usually takes about five hours the temperature supposedly can reach 932 degrees it's enough to you know turn whatever's inside the oven to ash and it's, it, it seemed to work okay on the last run uh, kind of a smaller part but the cross-section similar in in size to this so hopefully we have good enough results if not then it'll have to get sent out or I have another option maybe someone uh, a friend of mine has a uh, a kiln could try that but it's not it's not so much temperature controlled it uses some kind of melting cones inside of it that uh, once it reaches temperature the cone melts and flips the switch off so it, it might work if this doesn't we'll see but the first thing we'll do here is wash the part with hot soapy water get all the oils and anything off of it we don't want burned into the surface um, I noticed on the last one that I did I didn't I didn't wash it like that and there was definitely fingerprints in in the surface of the metal that was kind of baked into it so um, we'll see you back after the heat treat process is done All right, guys, here is the part fresh out of the oven. Turned out well. Uh, it flash rusts easily now that it has gone through heat treat, but that's okay. It'll get uh, final machine, which is uh, going to include some grinding and milling of a small pocket on this back face to engrave uh, my name or something like that in it. Um, if you're going to run your oven as a heat treat oven I suggest that you run a clean cycle prior to putting your parts in I don't know if it actually makes any difference to the process but that way you don't have the smoke or any of that stuff burning off inside with your part well thanks for watching